Hi YouTube, this is Tara and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so sometimes you all may hear me say, oh, I have a palette or I have makeup from Plan and Makeup by Yolando. Well, this is it right here. Plan and Makeup by Yolando. This is Yolando. I found her on Facebook. Okay, so she do free live, uh, free master classes live with Yolando. Okay, 7 p.m. Eastern, five days a week. So, if you all are interested in watching some free master classes, you can go over to Facebook and it's Plan and Makeup by Yolando. And she also have a Facebook page called Yolando Solomon or Mrs. Solomon, where she do. Sometimes she'll show cooking and stuff like that, okay? So, of course, I washed my face this morning with her with her products, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not too thrilled about them. There's nothing special about them um, after 30 days. It's just a facial cleanser. It's a uh, rose water toner, and it's a vitamin C oil okay and after 30 days i don't see any difference i mean my pores are still visible um i still have acne scarring um in fact i had acne right here right when i was using it right after i started using it i got acne but that's not her products that's my diet okay now let's just be honest i'm messing with this hair because i sprayed it okay and so she have i don't know if she still have it on her site you can get a free palette okay all you have to do is pay shipping and the shipping is like five dollars and some change and so i got the unexpected palette and it is very unexpected for me especially being a melanated woman because these colors you don't really expect for these colors in these shades to really work well with my skin tone and skin complexion now i don't have i, I don't have on any foundation today i don't have on any prime any um concealer or eyeshadow base i do have on my far solid matte defying primer i have that on I also have on my Benefit Brow Pencil, and I could not get the tail to darken up and to do what I wanted to do because I had the vitamin C oil on there, so my face was still kind of greasy when I got to work. Normally, the oil has soaked in, so I went in with the Juvia's Place um, Brow Powder and kind of darkened my brows up a little bit. But I do like the way my brows look. Okay. And on my lip is my Uma Beauty. A little this, a little that is complicated lip tint and oil. Okay. And it's like a fuchsia. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So I love fuchsias and berries on my lip with my skin tone. I very seldomly find any neutrals or nudes that I like. And I really don't like to play with makeup too much to make it work. Like having, I don't have to put a liner on with this. It looks good by itself. That's the type of makeup and the products that I like. It works well by itself. But when I pair it with something else, it takes it another notch. That's what I like. I don't spend a lot on makeup on this channel, but I do unboxings, swatches, reviews. I eat ice because I'm an ice eater. And, um, you know, have just have a little fun. So I did swatch it. And I do believe that you order the free palette so that you can do the swatches and she wants i believe she wants you to submit the swatches to her she wants you to do an unboxing that's what she wants 
So I believe that's those are the rules. So if you're interested in getting a free palette and all you have to do is pay shipping and you are interested in doing an unboxing for a brand, you can go over to Planet Makeup by Yolanda Facebook page and see what the rules are. I just go to the website, Planet Makeup by Yolanda. I'm pretty sure the rules are there. Okay. Um, this is the palette. So this right here was really unexpected. This is a nice soft shimmer gray. And that's the first one. It's a satin. I'm sorry. And you see how it catches the light. That really was unexpected. And then you have this nice shimmer right here, which is the next one, which tells me it's going to be some glitter. And you have this nice, soft, matte gray, which is like a medium, light, light medium. And then you have this deep, medium, I'm going to say a medium, purple. And that's what it looks like on my skin. And that's that. And then you have this nice, shimmery gunmetal. Okay. And these swatches look better <laughs> for my YouTube video than the video that I did to submit to her because I was in the bathroom. It was two people in here on their phone. So I couldn't come in here and do the video. So yeah, those are the two. You have a satin and a shimmer. Then you have a, a matte gray, which is a medium, a light medium color gray. Then you have a medium purple, and then you have a gunmetal. I'm I'm not gonna put <laughs> any eyeshadow on my face today. I'm not. I have all the makeup on that I'm going to wear today. But I will tell y'all about my Moxie Lash experience. I lost the Moxie Lash kit. I put it in my bag. Oh, I, it didn't leave a whole lot of glitter behind. I put it in my bag. And on my way to work at some point, it fell out of my bag. So I didn't have any more glue. And I didn't have any cotton, moisten cotton swabs to get the glue off to take the lashes off at work. So I ended up keeping the lashes on at work. Because that was going to be the video. Me showing you all how to remove the lashes and if the cotton swabs work. Right? So listen. <laughs> and then I got to go. Oh, I got a lot of unboxings too. I got a couple of um, uh, packages yesterday. I got a couple of packages. And I, I like my brows today. I like them. Um, I don't have one in the foundation, like I said. So this is just me. Okay. So, um, when I got home yesterday, I thought I had on two lashes. This lash that was coming up had fallen off. I don't know when, I don't know where. It fell off. This lash was still on, okay? So when I got ready to take my lashes off, I did like this. I kept doing like this and didn't feel nothing. And I'm like, wait a minute, where's my lash? And then I did this one like this, and I can feel the lash, and I took this one off. So I put this one away for safekeeping, just in case, like, it fell on the floor or something somewhere. Okay, just in case it fell on the floor. somewhere so but yeah thank god I bought it from Boxy Charm, right because if I had to pay a full price for that kit and I lost the kit I lost the glue I lost listen not only did I lose the glue 
in the pre moistened uh, Q-tips, I lost one of my favorite lip glosses from Juvia's Place because I stuck it down in that that mesh bag. That I was going to do a review when I came to work yesterday, but like I said, it was a young man in here on the phone doing my whole break talking loud and everything. But this is the public break room. I can't tell people not to come in here. Okay. And then, not only that, when you know it, the sample of the Flex Foundation was in that bag too. I'm almost sure of it. I'm going to look in this bag right here. That I just stick makeup and stuff in and stick it in my desk drawer and see if I see it. But I definitely remember putting it back in that mesh bag. And y'all know I like that Flex Foundation. I thought it was perfect. I, th I thought it was perfect. Just like the KVD. Um, when I when I find cream to powder foundations and uh, some foundation sticks. They are perfect. They are better for me than a regular foundation because regular foundation oxidizes. A lot of it turns dark, and um, it does is no longer fit the complexion like it did when you first put it on. It turns is different. So I really like that Flex Foundation because I said I was going to try to find the full size so i guess i'm gonna have to but y'all know i was gonna use that sample i was gonna use that sample so i couldn't use that sample no more because it was filled to the brim and i don't put a lot of foundation on so i probably would have been using that sample for months and it's october i probably wouldn't have had to buy no more of that by the by that foundation until next year sometime i probably would have got it for black friday or something like that you know christmas sale if they had it just because it was on sale okay so thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe thumbs up my video tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend about my channel i love you for watching to the end um yeah it's friday so this all we getting and I don't think I'm coming in doing lunch time to do no update either. <sighs> and listen, I have something to talk about. But it's Friday, y'all. I I'll have I gotta work tomorrow. Tomorrow so it's like y'all know. <laughs> yeah, I gotta work tomorrow, so oh my daughter is upset with me because all my packages comes to her house. So she has to go, she don't check her mailbox every day. I check my mailbox every day or every other day because you never know what's in there. So she said her mailbox was full and she said it's a box in there and it's stuck and she can't get it out. She said she tired of trying. So hopefully the mailman will get it out and put it like in the overflow type thing and yeah, she'll be able to get it and break. Because I think it's my ColourPop um, Hocus Pocus 2. Because it said it was delivered. So, yeah. Because I also have a ColourPop Mystery Box. And I have a Juvia's Place Mystery Box. And I saw somebody unbox their Mystery Box by Juvia's Place last night. And every product in that mystery box I have already and I'm like oh man no I hope they do something different for every mystery box because it's supposed to be a Halloween mystery box and the eyeshadow palette that they put in that mystery box that's not Halloween it's the same color scheme gray as the plan in Yolando Makeup by Yolando Unexpected. So I'll probably do like a comparison, swatch comparison. But I already have that one. So I already have the gray one from um, Juvia's Place. When they when she did the quads and she put the quads on sale. 
I got all four of them because she had them as like a little collection. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up my video. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about my channel. I love you. I'm watching to the end. Bye.